Hello friends. Hope you are doing well, staying at home, you are safe, following the instructions, learning through videos, going through the links in this tough period of time. Friends, today's video is dedicated to all the coronavirus fighters warriors doctors nurses police forces social workers ngos and all the government officials who are directly or indirectly helping the whole nation to come out of this corona virus problem i hope very soon we'll get solution for this particular problem and we'll start our life as usual now in today's video i'm going to discuss one problem from projections of lines line inclined to both the planes in which the distance between end projectors is given and combination of two quadrants is also given so with the help of one example i will explain you the steps or the procedure to solve such a type of problem now the statement for this particular problem is like this the distance between the end projectors of a straight line ab is 60 mm point a is 10 mm above hp and 30 mm in front of vp point b is 40 mm above hp and 50 mm in front of vp draw the projections and find the inclination of straight line ab with hp and vp also find true length of the line and show the traces of line now before start the solution of this particular problem few things are there which i have written on board that you have to remember always while solving the problem on projections of line that for line ab the notations that we have to follow i have already explained in my previous video here also it is mentioned true length is to be shown by a dash b1 dash is equal to ab2 front view of a line a dash b dash top view ab and likewise you have to remember all those things which are written on the board on right hand side now with the help of uh, drafter and other drawing instruments that are available with me because the resources that are available right now because of the lockdown period are very less limited resources are available with me but still i am trying to use all those resources and to bring this educational videos in front of you now as mentioned in the statement particularly the distance between the end projectors is given 60 mm so what we are going to do at the start of the solution we will use drafter now we will draw a horizontal line xy line we will draw one horizontal line xy line xy line then on this xy line as the distance between the end projectors is given 60 so we will mark two points 60 mm apart so for your clarification i am taking more distance and we'll draw two faint lines why these two lines are required because these are the projectors on these particular lines will have a dash a b dash b distance between the end projector is given 60 that i have taken now position of a is given 10 mm above hp so from x y will take distance 10 mm again i will take more distance as it is above hp a dash and 30 in front of vp so i will take 30 distance downward it is a so a dash and a is over now 
Now B is 40 millimeter above HP. So from this particular point, we will take 40 distance above. So this is B dash and 50 in front of VP. So that is there above. So B dash and B is marked. A dash and A is marked. Now we have got front view point A dash B dash. We have got uh, top view point as well as uh, front view point. So I will join A dash and B dash by dark line. A dash and B dash is joined by dark line. Then A and B, as I have mentioned, this is the problem of two quadrants, combination of two quadrants. So according to this, A dash and B dash is over here, A and B is over here. So these are the two lines. One is front view line, another is top view line. So now half of the problem is over now, where we have shown front view of a line as well as top view of a line. Now with the help of compass, we'll rotate this front view distance as well as top view distance. So keeping compass on A, taking A dash, keeping a pause on A, taking A B distance, we'll draw one arc draw the arc now same thing what we are supposed to do we are going to draw arc keeping compass on a dash b dash faint arcs are to be drawn now with the help of this from A dash, draw one faint horizontal line. From A also, faint horizontal line can be drawn. Now, this horizontal faint line is intersecting at this point. From this particular B dash, we have drawn R. So, this is B1. A, B1. Here I have mentioned A, B1, top view length parallel to X, Y. So, this is parallel to X, Y. And this is A dash, B2 dash. Here also it is mentioned A dash, B2 dash, front view length parallel to XY. So we have got B2 dash, we have got B1. Now the next step is there. From B2 dash, from B1, go vertically up. From B1, go vertically up. Already B dash line is there with us. B dash point. So from this B dash point, draw a faint line. This is locus of B dash. Locus of B dash. So this is B1. So this will be B1 dash. Okay. Now we have got A dash. We have got B dash, we have got this particularly B1 dash, B1. In the same way, we can easily locate this A dash. B1 dash is there. So we will join A dash, B1 dash by a faint line. We'll join A dash, B1 dash by a very faint line. This is the true length of the line. This is the true length of the line. Now here we have got B2 dash. So from B2 dash, again, use the drafter carefully. Go vertically up from B or horizontal line. That is locus of B is there. So B2 dash. So this will be point B2. Now you have got B, you have got B2, you have got A. Join A, B2 by faint line. This is nothing but the true length of the line. So this is A dash, B dash, front view, A, B, top view, A dash, B1 dash, true length, 
a b2 true length you can measure the true length definitely you will find it is coming true length almost 105 mm then measure this a dash b1 dash theta angle A B two phi angle. Then the traces part, as I explained in my previous video, traces are nothing but the extension of front view and top view towards x y. So a dash b dash. This is the front view of a line. It is to be extended towards x y. So I extended this. Wherever it intersects, this will be h dash. Then from a b line, that is top view of a line, draw faint line that is extend a b further, faint, and from h dash, from h dash. Draw the faint line. So this is your H T. H T. Now this A B is intersecting X Y over here. So this is V dash. And from V dash, wherever it intersect, front view of line. This is. B T. So H dash H T is there. B dash B T is there. Now show the dimensions carefully. So the distance between the end projectors. Sixty. Sixty millimeter. Then the distances that are given in the statement, those also are to be shown. Show dimensions properly. This is ten millimeter. This is thirty millimeter. Likewise, B dash distance. It is forty millimeter. Then this B distance also can be shown. Fifty millimeter. Then locus of B, locus of B dash. Then projector for A. This is projector for B. So this is the problem in which n projector distance was given. So according to that n projector distance, we have constructed the front view of a line, top view of a line. We have found out the true length of a line. We have shown inclination theta phi. We have found out horizontal trace h dash h t, vertical trace v dash v t. Thank you. So, friends, keep watching my videos on this YouTube channel. Do subscribe, do like it, share it. Thank you.